Hello friends, welcome to series of online lectures. Today we are going to discuss a new topic that is metallic coatings. I have divided this topic into two parts. In part one, we are going to cover following points. First, uh, introduction to metallic coatings, then cathodic and an anodic coatings, followed by methods of applying metallic coatings. In that, electroplating and its a different types then electro forming and at last we are going to see hot dipping okay so let us begin with the introduction as we know that coating is a covering that can be applied to the surface of an object and normally it is called substrate the purpose of application of coating is the value enhancement of the substrate by improving its appearance corrosion resistance property wear resistance property okay and the process of coating involves application of thin film of a functional material onto the substrate and the functional material may be metallic or non-metallic organic or inorganic it may be solid liquid or gas and this can be genuine criteria of the classification of coating so there are the types of the coating and today we are going to discuss the metallic coating so metallic coating can be applied over a metallic as well as non-metallic substrate and sometimes non-metallic like plastic are coated by by this metallic coating okay to give metallic appearance also and the protecting the metal by metal coating is a old method and very widely used practice as these are more dura durable more decorative and provide better protecting against the corrosion there are two factors are involved in this protection of the metal okay by metallic coating the first factor is that it mechanically isolate the metal from corrosion environment and the second is the galvanic relation of the coated metal and the base metal okay and based on these factors metallic coatings are classified into the two category first is the cathodic coatings okay so first we will discuss about this so cathodic coating in such a case the coating metal is a cathodic with respect to the base metal coating of tin nickel and chromium are cathodic coatings as these are higher than the steel in the galvanic series for the most service condition also and these coatings provide a physical barrier between the metal and the environment okay so when coating is dense non porous continuous and without discontinuities corrosion medium does not come in contact between the base metal and the base metal does not corrode and the corrode co coating being cathodic does not corrode okay so corrosion of the underlying metal occurs at a small dis discontinuities crack etc as it is a anodic and as the anodic area is small pitting corrosion occurs and this disadvantage is outweighed for some application where corrosion is not a severe problem okay and lots of automobile parts have cathodic coating like chromium plating silver silver and gold plating is also done on the brass brasses and bronze for the ornamental purposes okay so this is about the cathodic let us discuss about the anodic coating the coating metal is anodic to the underlying the metal and the anodic coatings provide galvanic protection to the base metal in addition to this it will act as a physical barrier between the base metal and the environment when the coating is dense non porous continuous and adhering it separate as a physical barrier between the environment and it from the base metal okay so at flaws cracks discontinuous and the pin holes the base metal is protected by the galvanic action of the coating okay by offering a sacrificial 
sacrificial type of the cathodic protection okay zinc and cadmium uh, even magnesium are example of metals that provide galvanic protection to the steel and the superior properties of cadmium coatings under conditions such as attack by salt spray or alkalines may justify their high cost and the life of the coating it depend on the nature of environment as it governs the nature of the corrosion okay and the life life of the coating primarily primarily uh, it depends on the thickness of the coating okay so some galvanized corrugated steel sheets are commonly used for the building roofs sheds can and containers also okay this is about the anodic coating now let us move for the which are the different methods of applying the metallic coating so begin with the electroplating we'll start so electroplating it is also known as electro deposition or electrochemical plating and it is a electrolyte process okay in this process metal ions in a electrolyte solution are deposited on the cathode okay so with the help of this diagram i will explain okay how this electroplating works so in this process electrolyte electrolytic solution is there and anode is generally made up of the metal being plated uh, plated so it serves as a serves as a source of the coating metal and working workpiece where coating is to be applied made as a cathode okay so look at this diagram you can you will get the which is anode and which is a cathode okay then direct current from a external power source is passed through the electrolytic solution okay so look look at here i have given the in the, the diagram i have given the dc power source so using this dc power you can pass this current through the electrolytic solution and the electrolytic is an aqueous solution of acid it may be bases of the salt and electrolytic conducts the electric current by the movement of plate metal ions in the solution and for optimum result the part to be plated should be chemically clean okay this is a requirement and the coat should be thicker or thinner it may be dull or bright soft or hard or it may be ductile or brittle it depends on the temperature current density time and composition of the bath okay so hard plating resists erosion or corrosion okay uh, that is better and it gives the thin and uniform coat as uh, has become popular this technique and cadmium and decorative nickel and uh, chromium plating are the most electroplated product which are normally produced by this electroplating okay now this electroplating may have plating of the different metal plating of some of the important metal now i am going to describe now first is the zinc plating so zinc plated steel products are fastener wire goods electrical switch boxes and sheet metal parts okay so here in this figure you can uh, see at the slide i have shown i have shown some component which are made up of the zinc plating and zinc uh, coating provide high resistance to the corrosion okay this is important and zinc can also be plated on the large area sheet metal wiring galvanization process okay let us discuss about the nickel plating normally nickel plating is done for the corrosion resistant purpose and decorative purpose in this cases brass steel zinc die casting serves as a substrate material automotive streams are also plated with the nickel okay so the procedure or the process of nickel plating i have shown in this uh, diagram you can see here the cathode it is uh, i have shown as a nail nail will act as a cathode and 
nickel sulfide solution that will act as the electrolyte and anode that means the nickel okay so that will the nickel plating okay let us discuss the new point so gold plating it is a method of depositing a thin layer of the gold on the substrate of a other material okay so most often substrate is a silver or the copper it provides corrosion resistance and highly electrical conductive layer which is used in the electrical connectors and the printed circuit boards and the major problem in the gold plating on copper is the copper atoms have tendency to diffuse through the gold layer and which causes tarnishing of its surface and formation of the oxide or the sulfide layer okay over there to avoid this layer of the some barrel metal like nickel is up, applied over the gold plating on the substrate of the copper as nickel atoms do not diffuse to the gold okay so some metal metal may also be gold plated to improve their aesthetic value for ornamental purpose so here you can see here i have shown the some products of the gold plated okay these are the gold plated products let us discuss about the chrome plating so chrome plating is a finishing treatment given to the metal surface using the electrolytic deposition of the chromium okay chromium it is also called the chromium plating and the decorative bright chrome plating of a thickness 10 micron or a nickel plating is done on the steels okay so this point should be noted and it is used in case of the metal furniture automotive uh, streams etc then chrome this chromium plating is a hard plating provided wear resistance properly uh, to the surface okay so again here i have shown the say some products of the chromium plating okay so let us discuss about the tin plating so tin plating is a used for ferrous and non-ferrous metallic surfaces tin is a non-toxic ductile and corrosion resistant material so it is widely used in the food packaging industry sheet metal coated with the tin can be processed further without any damage to their surface this is possible due to the excellent ductility of the tin and it's a alloy electro plating of the this tin is also used in the electronic industry because of its ability to protect the base material metal from the oxidation and it is used to protect solidability okay so let us discuss the last electro plating process that is the alloy plating in some cases electro plating of two metals is done simultaneously and it is called alloy plating Nick, you can take example of nickel cobalt and that is a commonly electric plated alloy okay so here i have shown the, that example of the alloy plating in this figure this is about the electro plating now let us discuss the second method of metal coating that is a electro forming so in this method electrolytic deposition of metal onto a pattern it will carry it out until the required thickness is achieved and the pattern is then removed to the leave the uh, formed part okay and the part produced it is called the electro form formed part and its a thickness may be up to 0.05 mm okay so, so electro formed parts are commonly fabricated of copper nickel and nickel cobalt alloy application of this electro forming include fine molds and dyes molds for lenses plates for embossing and printing okay so the schematic figure of the electro forming process i have shown here so you can see here in this diagram the mandrel will be deposited coated by the copper metal okay now let us discuss the electroless plating as name indicates it is a plating process done entirely by the chemi chemical reaction no external source of the electric current is required in this case and the deposition of the metal onto the part surface occurs in a aqueous solution which contains the ions of the desired plating metal and the process you, you just say reducing agent and the work part surface acts as a catalyst for this for the reaction and normally nickel and nickel alloys are used for this plating uh, this process is costlier as compared to other similar methods nickel plating by this method is 
used to get high resistance to the corrosion and wear okay and the electrolytic copper plating is used to plate through holes of the printed circuit boards okay so here i have shown the example of electro plating of the nickel you can see here in this diagram now electro plating has the following advantages so i will discuss this advantages first one is the uniform thickness of the plating even on complex part geometry also and this is a problem of in case of the electro plating and this process can be used uh, for both metallic as well as non metallic substrate for this process no current is required okay so no dc power source is required this is about the electroless plating let us discuss about the hot dipping hot dipping is a process in which a metal is immersed in a molten bath of the another metal that has to be coated onto the first for this process melting point of first metal that is substrate should be higher than the melting point to be plated okay and the common substrate metal for hot dipping are steel and iron and common coating mat materials are zinc aluminum tin and lead the working principle of this hot dipping is forming transition layer of the varying alloy composition and next to substrate are normally intermetallic compounds of the two metals and at the exter exterior are the solid solution alloys consisting the predominantly of the coating metal and the presence of this transition layer provide the excellent adhesion to the coating okay so he here i have shown the process of the hot dipping the clean steel plates are immersed in a molten metal bath of a low melting point metal mainly zinc tin lead and aluminum are used and galvanized sheet is produced by this hot dipping and the thin coats are difficult to produce using this hot dipping process okay so these are the some methods of the applying the metallic coating so uh, remaining methods we are going to cover in the next lecture okay thank you hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel after subscription you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new videos thank you thank you so much